Disclaimo. No pro at the KO Winto Gamo. Welcome to another perk guide to Decaying Winter. Today, we'll be going over the new perks added in the last strands update. First, starting with the crosslink, aka the literal human snare. As with all guides we've done before, we'll be going over the pros and cons, the ability, traits, equipment choices, and gameplay tips with the crosslink. First though, we need to mention something. Unlike the usual perks in Decaying Winter being unlocked at level 5, with the last strand perks, especially a crosslink, they actually have to be unlocked through a challenge to actually play the perk along with the usual level 5. The challenge for crosslink is called Fine Line, which requires you to kill 15 enemies in a row without taking any damage. Some ideas is the Arbiter Long Shot Spam or Throwing Knives. Again, whatever you deem fit to unlock it. Not my decision. Now though, let's actually focus on crosslink itself. Starting with the pros, we have faster trap deployment, same as the Tick Spider perk. Kind of useful if you're going to spam the remotes or whatnot. We have hipfire accuracy increase, which, again, it's okay. And finally, faster movement speed. Somewhat noticeable, it's like roughly base and impatient kind of together. Kinda. On the flip side though, we get a reduced defense about 10%, and reduced max stamina with our base now being 60 for the crosslink. Next is our ability. This is going to get a little complicated, so try to bear with me. The ability is called the Crosswire Spool C3-7. We'll kind of just call it Crosswire, Daggers, and it's something along the sorts. When you press F, you pull out 5 daggers in your hand. It's kind of like Hive Mind. If you left click, you'll throw one of them, which will stick to any surface such as the red container, any of the containers, you name it. Now throwing one within its range, well, and the range is actually pretty big, will actually link them together, creating a snare-like tripwire. Of course, like before, throwing out these knives will create more tripwire links. Each knife has a 80 second lifetime, and you'll get a dagger back every 20%, up to 100% for your full 5. Now, when a sky runs over the tripwire, they'll become ensnared for a few seconds, which afterwards, they'll have immunity for about 7 seconds until they can be snared again. You can also press F to get out of the sequence, kinda like Hive Mind, like I said before. Another note though, if you right click while there are daggers out, you'll actually retract them, and you'll actually get a 10% replenishment for each dagger being brought back to you, while actually also doing around 45 damage to each scab it passes through. And it does piercing by the way. However, doing this relies on the player's position and the daggers. Okay, that is a lot. Now we can get into more calmer things. For the traits, two simplest traits that come to mind is fearless and or dependable. Fearless is great since you're going to be sitting backline the entire game, so this will definitely help you with explosives and guns. Dependable helps remove that con entirely actually because it gives 15%, so it'll actually give you a 5% damage increase instead. It's not much, but hey, it can help. You can also pick Calm, it's a decent choice, letting you actually jump more than once. I'm not kidding by the way. Professional for easy recoil, since you're obviously not going to go frontline, so you might as well sit in the back with guns. Reliable. Easy reload for shotguns, and paranoid for spamming shotguns. However, there is another one. I personally don't recommend it. It's called Lone Wolf. Since, again, you have the hip fire accuracy with your perk, this would give you more. But really, due to like insane recoil of a lot of guns, especially the AKM, I, it's, it's not recommended at all. But if you want to run it, uh, you're okay, sure. Uh, you do what you want, honestly. Equipment now. Throwing knives are very useful, since actually any ensnared scavs will become quote unquote unaware. And if you didn't know, throwing knives have a buff now that any unaware scav will instantly die. So this is basically just a free kill. Caldera, if you want easy camera aim and minor buffs it gives like damage, defense, and all that stuff. And melee, if you really want to do that early game. You don't have to though. Shotgun Device will actually give you more utility for your teammates, since it does about 8 damage per hit, while also lowering accuracy of gun scavs and melee scavs damage. And finally, Tear Gas, which can be proven life-saving in intense moments, 
if you need to get away or even reset the the time for the uh, ensnarement gameplay tips well you can really tell that you're a perk synergizer any perk will synergize with you and vice versa whether it does more damage gives a team breathing room you name it early game you're gonna need a, a fair melee weapon maybe a fiery axe since it'll carry most scabs in a light combo go figure in the early stages you also probably not want to use your cross links this early since if you're gonna have frontliners they're kind of just gonna wreck like the first few waves if you see any ammo save it and all the scrap that you have for a gun of your choice such as the rsass or even the aakm if you're running professional just note though that if you really want to any gun you have only one gun pro which is the hitfire accuracy buff and it's not that much just make sure you top off your ration bars as well while you make while you think that you might not get much out of the hunger bar that provides damage if both bars are actually filled especially the water one you'll get a speed boost and a 50 percent damage to defense overall very good for you since like i said before your defense kind of sucks now for the cross link placement you'll definitely want to place it in a triangle on the left or the right of the corner in the red container these are just simple layouts you can get a bit more complicated this is only what i know and it works very well with my team other than that though cross link is a very how would i say this not a boring port perk but you're gonna be sitting in the back a lot and just watching your team just mess it up so you are very helpful though i will say that keep in mind you can also use these knives during the looting phase if you really are in a pinch just throw some down retract them back and you'll know, just kill them not granted you do lose you probably will lose like a, a knife or two that's okay otherwise this is basically it for crosslink that basic guide uh that's about it so thank you for watching